Hello crafty friends, welcome to Donna Creations and More. Now let's jump right into this tutorial. Here I have a wood block that I got from Dollar Tree and a foam pumpkin I just got from Dollar Tree. And we're going to use some black paint. Now in this tutorial we're going to be jumping back and forth between each DIY to work on them. Why, for instance, like why this pumpkin is drying. So here I'm just going to give this pumpkin a quick coat of black paint. And I was using the black, ac black acrylic paint but decided to go with the Waverly chalk paint to give it that dull look and hoping it would dry quicker. So I'm just going to add this wooden skewer in here and I was trying to get it to hold but it was not holding it kept spitting. Trying to keep my hands not from getting dirty. So I had to hold on to it anyhow until the end. And I do cut it out so here it is done. Now I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper lay down. And some black glitter I have here. And we're going to sprinkle that all over this pumpkin. Now we are going to set that to the side to dry. Now we are going to work on painting our little wood block real quick. With the same way we chalk paint. And we're just going to give this a really quick coat. Because this is for another DIY. I forget how many I did in this, this video. So. So that's done. Now we're going to grab some. Gra granite. Granite gray. Rag acrylic paint. And I'm just going to give it that little. Uh, messy antique. Wash look. Make it a little. Spooky, creepy, Halloweeny. Because we are doing fall Halloweeny. So we are incorporating our fall with Halloween. So now that's done. We're going to set that side to dry. Now let's move on to our next DIY here. Before we jump in that, let's discuss about this collaboration. It's fall Halloween by Chapter 2 Vintage Company and Buffy Designs. That is the two hosts of this collaboration. So now let's get back to this tutorial. And please check out the playlist link in my description below to check out all the creations these wonderful women have created. So here I have a Dollar Tree paper towel holder and some twine. And I'm just going to start wrapping this all the way around this napkin ring. So I got already one already done, prepared for this tutorial, and I have three Dollar Tree ropes and some fall leaves. So we're going to begin with rope number one, and we're going to hot glue that in place. And then we're going to start wrapping this around. Now, I'm going to slow this down so you guys can see exactly what I am doing. So what I'm doing is, is I'm wrapping around the front, bringing it under, and then bringing it over through the back. And I'm going to tuck it down under the front. And here I did not do that yet. I'm thinking about how I'm going to do it. And I'm jumping ahead of myself. So sorry on that. And here we go. Now we're going to tuck it underneath. I was trying to think which way the best way to do it. To have a nice design. 
So again, we're going to bring it over the front, under the back, and pull it. And then slide it over. And then again, under the front. We're doing like a figure eight. Looking to, yeah, we're doing a figure eight. So we're doing over the front again, under, then over the back, and then back under the front. Now, speed that back up, and I will be pausing this video in between to jump to certain areas as I complete this so you guys don't have to watch the whole entire thing. Now the reason we took twine and went around the front edge is because the very back ring is smaller and I did not want you to see the silver ring through the front once the rope is spread out. So here we are to this part and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So we're going to pour it really, really tight. Okay, so we're going to bring it down. And then, under the front, and then we're going to bring it over, over, and we're going to cross that ring. And through. Then we're going to bring it up over the back one. Like that. Pull it really that tight. Way. And we'll bring it back down. And then continue and then under. bringing it back under. Then over the front and under, under the back and pulling it tight and sliding it over. And, same thing. and that's how you cover this little silver part over. on the napkin ring. You're just crossing it over. So I was So this video, like I said, I paused it as I was recording. So now I'm gonna show you the very how you add another one on so I just cut the very end off and hold it down in place with some hot glue I'm gonna grab another rope here and we're like I said we need a total of three of the Dollar Tree ropes one paper towel holder and you need four fall flowers from Dollar Tree So here I'm adding another piece of rope, hold it in place, and then I'm going to start wrapping it around the same way. And now we're at the end, and to finish it off, you just want to pull it very, very tight, and stick it through, and push it through again, and you want to end up in the back. And then we're going to start doing the figure eight around the napkin ring. Um, the paper towel holder. I keep calling it a napkin ring. And hot glue that so it'll stay in place. And if anybody has any questions. Oh, you can always slow your the speed down on your settings. But I didn't want to make this video super long. So now I'm going to take my florals the fall leaves I have two from Dollar Tree and I already had one but you're gonna need four if you do Dollar Tree ones so I'm just gonna take my florals here and cut this one off because that's a really thick bouquet I'm attach it to my paper towel holder. I want to line them up with the rings, and I'm taking some wire to hold that into place, sort of trying temporarily. And I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on. And you want to make sure your flowers or leaves, whatever you use, are above the top of the paper towel holder and then continue 
Put your figure eight going all the way around this paper towel holder to the top. And as you get up here to the wire, I was having a little trouble with this staying still, so I added some tape. So I can continue on here. I'm at the end of this rope, so I cut it and then I add some glue to the end to keep it from fraying and hold it into place. Now I did cut them wires off and why I must have the video too fast I didn't even notice it but I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to cut the end off remove the tape whatever glue the end and then hot glue that all into place to keep it from frying it and that's going to be my back. And then again start wrapping it all the way around. Oh, you know why I didn't show it it? I haven't gotten to the, um, <laughs> oh my goodness, now I'm cutting it off. Now I just cut off the wire. I'm ahead of myself on this tutorial. So we got that all done, and it's wrapped, and I end up wrapping it now in between the flowers stems that are sticking up my whole paper towel holder is already covered so now I'm going so to I the top cut here. it off and hot I'm just glue adding in some place. hot glue in there and holding it down into place and then here's what our tree is starting to look like and that's what we're making a fall tree so I'm going to grab some of this Spanish moss here from Dollar Tree. Now my paper towel holder is a little wobbly. Now we'll fix that. We're just going to hot glue this Spanish moss down. all the way around our tree and I apologize the leaves are like right up there in your face so here's where I add a piece on the very bottom to try to level it out and it does work you just got to keep adjusting it and make sure you have it on the wax paper Now I'm going to take some little decor I have, and yeah, the leaves are in your way, I'm sorry, and I add a little bench, and I'm going to add a little tiny bird bath, right there, oh, we can see, well, now we can't see. And I also got them at Dollar Tree little die cuts that I cut out of two little cats and I just took um, several die cuts and glued them together at a cardstock. This is my first time DIYing with my die cuts. So I'm just going to add these two little cats here onto this little tree bottom. make sure my little bench is in place and I have these little pumpkins I got from Dollar General and then I have these little tendril things from my grapevine plants so I'm going to glue them right on top of my little pumpkin and I'm going to add one right here on top of this bench and I have this cute little white one 
and I apologize, you can't exactly see. So I balled up a piece of Spanish moss and put that inside the bird bath. And I'm gonna take some more of these little tendrils and add them to my pumpkins to make them look more realistic. But you will see the in the final video exactly what it looks like. And I'm gonna glue that on top of my bird bath. Add another tendril. And this one I used a different color. It wasn't completely um, dried out. It will. It's like a lighter green. So it goes perfect with this white looking pumpkin. So I'm just going to hot glue that on. And glue that down right there in the front. And then add one more. I end up putting that in the very back. And again, you'll see this all in the final reveal. There was a little glance. Now we're back to this pumpkin I just painted. Then I have another one from Dollar Tree. That's all sparkly. And it didn't work. None of them worked. I didn't understand it. But anyhow, it's a jack-o'-lantern. Goes light up. It doesn't. So I'm going to hot glue this into place. And yeah, it's still a little damp. So you'll see me touching up all through this video. Now we're going to take some of this black felt. And put fold it into fours. And we're going to make two little ears. Triangles for ears. And we're going to take the same felt. Put fold it in half, and we are going to make a tail. Because we are going to make a little kitty hat. So I'm going to take some black wire that I have. You can use any wire you have. Let's see, I have this jack o' lantern pumpkin that lights up. So I figured I'll do a cat. So I'm just going to glue down my pieces of wire and then glue around my edges, put down my felt, do the next one, and then whatever needs to be trimmed off, I trim off to make it look cohesive and you don't see any glue. So I give a nice little trim and we're going to do the tail. And my wire is too thin, so I took a toothpick and I stuck through the fabric so I can stick through my wire. And so I stick my wire through and I'm going to hot glue that and glue my tail together. Now we have a cat tail and two pairs, I meant two pairs, and two ears. All nicely trimmed and ready to go. Again, my wire's too weak, it bends, so I need something to make holes. So I take my little pokey tool and poke a hole in there and add the ear and hot glue it. See, there's my little pokey tool. And hold it in place and let it set. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the tail. They go right in the back there, add a little bit of hot glue, add my tail, let it set. So you can bend your tail in any direction you want. But we're not finished with this cat yet, because remember that little cat pumpkin I showed back there? Well, we're going to try to match it a little bit. So I have this monkey that I saved, and I wanted his eyes. I saved him for his eyes and his little paws and all. But anyhow, I'm gonna add these eyes to my cat. Once I get them apart here, and I tried, it was a hassle. I had to use my little heating tool. And now I am gonna get him a little pink nose, cause I have little fake eyes and noses that I bought off of Amazon. 
So we're going to add a little nose in there. Went in a little too far. Say cute little nose. Now the back, I want to melt off the back of these eyes because it's going to stick out too much and I couldn't get the backing off no matter what I tried. So I'm going to use my heating tool here and it works great. And this is actually a foam cutter. But hey, it worked. Because you see, I was trying everything. I got like a lighter there. I was several different pliers. The whole nine yards. It was not working. So now I'm going to glue these eyes on from the monkey. Add the second eye here. And... Then I'm going to take some of my black wire, and I'm going to cut three pieces. Well, no, I cut one piece, and I fold it in half. And then I, I measure and make sure I got two of the same. So then I make my little pokey hole there, and I hot glue it in. I cut another piece, and we're going to make some cute little whiskers for this cat. So I'm going to do the same thing, poke a hole in there, add my wire. And each side has three little whiskers. Then, of course, I gotta give him a little quick touch up again because he's still wet. Then I have this, um. Oh my gosh, I just went blank. You guys know what it is. Oh my gosh, I can't think. And I just cut a piece of that, and I'm going to wrap it around his neck. Oh, like tool. No, it ain't tool. Oh, um. I can't think, you guys. I'm sorry. And there's my little cat, and you'll see the rest of it, the final reveal. He is done. I just wanted to wrap that around him. Look how adorable he is. It is not tool. What is it called? Um, deco mesh. Oh my goodness. The deco mesh. And I was so glad I found this Dollar Tree deco mesh. Because it's going to go with my decor. And now I got this. Halloween. I don't even know what this is called. But anyhow. I got this light thing from Dollar General for $3. You know, the little witch pot. I'm going to call it a witch pot. I know it's called something else. So we're just going to jump on here. I got some of this polyfill. And I'm just going to fill it in with some polyfill. And put my little lighted ball in there. So my polyfill looks like smoke. And it's all nicely lit up. Now I got this light from Dollar General. And I'm going to cheat and I use a binder clip to keep the little button pushed when I want to. And I'm going to take some of this same deck of mesh and cover my piece of wood we painted. And I'm going to trim it off. So this is my base. I'm going to hot glue my little light onto here. I'm going to add a spider in the front. Hot glue that into place. Then I have another spider. I'm going to add to the top right here. Sorry you can't see exactly. Then I thought I was done. We're going to come back to that. But I'm going to take the same deck of mess. I made this wreath last year. And I did not have any arms to go to it. This is one of them Dollar Tree foil type wreaths. So I'm going to add some arms to it. Which I wanted to do last year. And then I have spiders already glued onto it. So we're just going to refix this up to match everything. 
And if you watched that tutorial, if you're one of my subscribers, I had when um, Walmart witches, which are beautiful, so if you see that witch at the end, you must get her. I do not regret buying her. So I'm going to add some of this spiderweb tool in here, and I'm just taking a piece, and I'm twisting it, and hot gluing it together, and sticking it in place. Like, I didn't, couldn't even tell my spiders were on them, but they're on them. So I tried to put the... Oh, God, I keep wanting to call it a tool. Ah, you know what I'm talking about. See, I'm just twisting it and then hot gluing it. I try to put them where our spiders were so they'll stand out a little more. So, that's pretty much done. I'm just using all my little scraps to fill it in. And that would be it for that one. So now we're going back to this. And we're going to add the same little tool here. Oh, it's not tool. Decamesh. So we're going to take a piece. Cut it. Cut it down the center. Same thing. Just twist it. Fold it. Glue it in place. And I'm going to do this to all... Uh, to each side and then there we go that one's done now I have this cheesecloth so I got a dollar general for a dollar and I want to add some of that to make them nice and creepy looking with this little spiders gotta make it Halloweeny if you've seen my other video where I did the big Halloween display that's four feet tall I used a lot of this which turned out beautiful I love that but anyhow you'll see all you can check out that video under my videos. Or I can link it in the description box below. So here is where I take a binder clip and I add it to this little light. That's my little hack. So I don't gotta buy batteries for these push light things you buy in the store. Now here's the final reveal. Now stay tuned because there's two final reveals because I couldn't fit my other tree in with this Halloween display. So here's my little light that I just did. And then the little wreath that matches the, um, oh, my beautiful witch. And my Dollar Tree Lantern light does not work this year, so I need to get some batteries. But that's what I did with my Dollar Tree Lantern. I added it to her hand and added some little bats on it for my cricket. And then here's my little witch brewery and my little kitty cat. I think it turned out great. And the little tail on the back. Now, if I wanted to add light to it, I could. I can just take my foam cutter, put a hole in it. But here's my hole to Halloween display. I love it. I think it's going to look really nice on my kitchen counter when I set it up. Tell me which one's your favorite. Or if you just like them all. Now, here it is with the fall tree. I almost forgot. I'm like... Oh my god, I knew I made something else. What was it? And I was like, oh my gosh, my tree. So here it is where I added all my little pumpkins and my little bench. And my two little kitty cats in the back there with the bird bath. I think this turned out absolutely adorable. I'm loving this. And it even looks great with my witch. So happy Halloween, you guys. And thanks for watching. Please don't forget if you're new here and you like what you see, subscribe and 
See you on next tutorial. Bye.